look, the, the um, sanctions that were announced today by uh, Mr. Putin um, on the EU, Norway, Canada, Australia, and others will certainly hurt Russia more than they will hurt uh, Canada. Uh, this does underline the importance that Canada has always placed, that Prime Minister Harper has always placed, on ensuring that Canada has uh, more international markets for Canadian goods and products. When we formed government in 2006, Canada had free trade agreements with five countries around the world. Today we have free trade agreements with 43 countries around the world. But it's very important that Canada and all of our allies and all those who have uh, rhetorically opposed uh, the uh, belligerent and irresponsible behavior of Mr. Putin um, stand firm, uh, that we not be intimidated, and that we ensure that the principle that we are highlighting and standing behind of his irresponsible behavior in Crimea, his irresponsible politics and his approach to Ukraine, that it be stood up to and stood against firmly, clearly, and persistently um, by all of our allies, and that we will not be intimidated by these kinds of tactics. We'll, um, we, we will certainly um, look at the, uh, the impact of these sanctions on the Canadian economy, but they will in no way cause us to have any hesitation in the principled position that we've taken in opposing Vladimir Putin's regime and his irresponsible approach uh, to the geopolitical situation uh, in his neighborhood. As you know, it was the pork industry that was very um, supportive of our government's uh, ex expanded free trade in South Korea, um, also with the EU um, free trade agreement that we've signed as well. So, you know, these, these industries um, may have some concerns about this, but they know and should know that Stephen Harper has their back, that we will certainly support and encourage uh, these, the growth of these industries and their opportunities to trade around the world, not just uh, with Russia. Um, but we'll be doing our assessment and, and engaging uh, our public policy domestically in reaction to that assessment.